What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, our lesson is about balancing the wire size and breaker service. So in this exercise, we're going to begin it by balancing the loads at level 1 and level 2 panels. And then after that, we're going to examine the loads presented at the panels to set our final breaker sizes. And then finally, we're going to verify and adjust wire sizes that Revit MEP recommends for handling the loads on those uh, circuits, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to balance the circuit loads. So I'm going to zoom into this area here. So currently I am on uh, level 2 power plan. Okay, so I'm going to zoom into this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our uh, lighting panel 2B. So let's click this one. And then after that, here on our electrical panel, you can see there's a create panel schedules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down arrow there. And then I'm going to select here, use default template. So it generates a panel schedule for the selected panel using the default uh, template. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to select the default template, use default template. And then it will create our panel schedule, which is a really cool feature in Revit MEP, okay, or Revit 2025. And then here you can go ahead and observe our panel schedule. So here you will notice that the loads on base A, base B, and base C shows an imbalance with the heaviest is here on base A which is 6858 volt amps and then after that so we have uh, on base C so it says uh, 2028 volt amps and for base uh, B 2004 volt amperes so what we're going to do is we're going to rebalance this which is very simple if you're going to see here just so there's a load panel here loads panel you just need to click rebalance so once you click rebalance so what will happen these total loads here will update okay so let's have a look so let's click that rebalance loads and there you go you see so the loads are now uh, more evenly distributed over the three paces with pace A is 369, uh, 3669, and then pace B is 3636, and then pace C is 3575. So basically, that's how you uh, rebalance the loads. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to verify and adjust the wire sizes. So let's go back to our uh, level 2 power plan. So let's go there. And then after that, I'm going to select again LP2B. So let's select this one. And then after that, here on my electrical circuits. So I'm going to select this tab here at the top, electrical circuits tab. So let's click this one. And then let's have a look on our wire here. So type. So the wire size. So I have here three number 12, one number 12, and one number 12 okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to change the rating of my electrical load okay so remember this one so we have 312 112 and 112 so i'm going to move this slider up and then i'll change the rating here so instead of 20 amps so i'm going to make it 30 and then after that i'm going to select apply and what's really cool about revit is that it will update your wire size okay and then you can see here that the wire size parameter is now three number 10 one number 10 and one number 10 okay so it automatically calculates the wire size based on the circuit rating okay and another thing that i'm going to do here is let me click my power panel to be Okay, so before I select that one, so let us right click and open up our system browser. So let's click system browser. And then after that, let me just adjust this one. Okay, so I'm going to select PP-2B. So let's click this. Okay, and then as you can see, our system browser here tells us that PP-2B is on the electrical systems. 
Okay, so it's already part of the system. So it's under the electrical uh, folder. So I'm going to expand that one. And then further expanding that, so I'll be able to find that my pp-2b is here. It's, it's actually under this uh, transformer here. So we have this uh, dry type transformer, which is this one. See, as I click this one, it highlights the transformer and it also tells me what is that transformer. So basically, our power panel is connected to our transformer. And then these are the circuits that is connected to our power panel, you see. So if I'm going to select, oh, so the circuit number one connected to PP-2B and then circuit number two is that one. Circuit number three is this one here. Circuit four is that one here, etc., etc. So basically our PP-2B is connected to our transformer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove PP-2B to the connection. Okay, so remember, our PP-2B is connected to uh, transformer 2B. So I'm going to remove the PP-2B from the circuit. So how to do that? Okay, so you just need to select an electrical equipment that you would like to remove from the circuit. And then after that, you see there's an electrical circuits here. So just click the tab. And then there is this um, edit circuit. So just select the edit circuit here. And then there's a remove from circuit. So let's click this one and then look what will happen after we select this. So look what will happen here on our system browser. So I'm going to remove that from the circuit. So let's click this. Okay, and then after that, I'll finish editing circuit. So let's click this one. And there you go. So you will notice that it now disconnected from the transformer. So it says here, the power system, one is empty and will be deleted. So that's fine. So I'm just going to select here, close. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a power circuit. So I'm going to select my PP-2B. And then after that, from the create system, so I'm going to select power. So I click this one. Okay, so I just created my PP-2B. Okay. All right. So I'm going to check the electrical circuits here and then I'll change the rating here. So instead of 20, okay, so I'm going to make that 10 and then let's see what will happen. So I'm going to select apply and then Revit will tell you that the total connected apparent power for circuit number one is exceeding 80% of the defined rating, which is just 10 amps. Okay. So Revit is telling you there's something wrong. So I'm just going to close this one. So how about if I make that um, 20? Is that enough? So apply. So it's still 20 is not enough. So I'm going to select here. Okay. So how about 25? So let's try 25. And then I select here, apply. Okay, so again, there's still uh, something wrong. So they're still exceeding 80% of the defined uh, 25 amps. So I'm going to select uh, cancel or okay. Now, how about I'm going to make that 30? Okay, so this time I'm going to type 30 and then apply. And there you go. So the warning disappears. So that means the circuit breaker size for our panel PP-2B is now sized to handle the connected load. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reconnect that back again to my uh, transformer. I'm going to select edit uh, electrical circuits here. And then uh, I'm going to select um, edit circuit. Okay. So right now it's already connected to the uh, panel 2-B. So I'm going to select, let's say... Uh, Select none first because it's already connected to the transformer. So I'm going to select none. And then I'm going to select finish editing circuit. Okay. So let's see our PP-2B. Okay. So it's here. So meaning it's not yet connected to the transformer. Okay. So our PP-2B is here with the other circuits connected to it. 
So what I want to do, I want my pp-2b to be connected to my transformer-2b. So for me to be able to do that, so I'll just need to select that one and then electrical circuits. And then on the panel here, so I'm going to select pp-2b. So let's click this one. And there you go. And then after that, just select here, modify. So it's now connected again. So let's click that. There you go. So there's now our PP-2B and it's now connected back again to TP-2B. Okay? So that's it for this uh, simple exercise about um, balancing the wire size and then the breaker service. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Again, if you want to avail the exercise file that I use exactly in this video, you can always check the video description for you to be able to avail that or you can always apply this to your actual project. So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.